in just a few hours of work now I have the switch built and now it's on a little, little test break here um, and then I'm, it's actually ready to go all I have to do is let's see flip the switch now it has power on main system on um, the way it works is um, big big button here that's 100% on as you can definitely tell it's very very bright um, and the indicator back here uh, means it's on all the time. Press it again, it turns off 100%. Uh, if you press the left mode, it does classic, and the power light will blink, letting you know that it's actually working. Um, and then if you press the right one, the mode switches, and it's kind of cool, um, it actually will redraw right in the middle of a pattern. So as you can see here, we got a pattern going and then here I'll redraw that and it just kind of sweeps it across and it changes very quickly um, I should monitor the status of any buttons so it's very responsive the buttons are using uh, interrupts so it's just checking every few nanoseconds you know say okay is it still pressed is it still pressed and if it's pressed enough times it'll go ahead and create the change and then every animation makes sure that it's still allowed to make the change uh... It's still permitted to animate if not then the anima animation just kills itself uh... the way i have it set up though right now is that uh... if you hit the power button once you once you turn it into full on mode you cannot go directly to an animation you have to first go to turn the full on basically go back to animated mode um... and decide if we want to keep it but it's a beauty of uh... ICSP that's available so I'll be able to reprogram it once it's in the car if I don't like the way how it's working. Um, pretty much just have to solder on final connectors and make the final box for the control board and uh, we're done. Da -da -dun. And we'll switch.